we need to mix it like this mix it all hello welcome to home cooking with some tit today i'm going to cook chicken noodle soup i have some chicken here and the chicken bones so i'm going to go ahead and cook the chicken soup first so we can take a look at what are the other ingredients for the chicken noodle soup to blanch the chicken meat we're going to cook them together so i have the water in the pot here and we're going to put in the cut ginger put in all the chicken bones when blanching the meat right it's best to start to boil it together with the water by the way the chicken breast meat i did not remove the skin <laughs> i did not remove the skin okay all right chicken is boiling so can you see that once it's cooked like this i'm going to remove it from the pot and then we can go and cook the soup all right we have the chicken ready now we can go and cook the soup these are the ingredients that we are going to cook the soup so we have the chicken which we have already blanched about 100 grams of white radish remove the skin and cut it into pieces like that one bowl of garlic one whole stem of chinese cabbage i only use the stem and this is a uh, parsley roots half tablespoon of salt just a small piece of cinnamon stick one star anise and two clove half teaspoon of sesame seed oil half teaspoon of five spice powder and half teaspoon of white peppercorn so i have a small tea bag here so i'm going to put all these small small pieces of ingredients inside here like this one white peppercorn and five spice powder all right so it's done for spices and now we can go and cook it so in this recipe i'll be cooking for three to four servings so i'll be using about two and a half liter of water switch on the heat put in the chicken the spice bag all this vegetable white radish salt sesame seed oil and cover the lid and bring it to boil all right the soup is boiling look at that it has a very nice fragrance of all the herbs so i'm going to reduce the heat to low heat and cover the lid and let it continue to cook for about one hour but halfway through half an hour i'm going to come back and take out the chicken breast meat because we don't want to cook it too long or else it's going to be too soft okay so i'm going to set a time for one hour all right the soup has been boiling for half an hour and now i'm going to take out the chicken we're going to take out the chicken breast meat first before it becomes too soft okay i'm going to put it aside and we continue to boil the soup for another half an hour all right one more minute to go the soup will be done so it is done wow all right soup is done see the soup is really very very sweet now i'm going to add in two tablespoon of oyster sauce Just after you add in the oyster sauce, you can give it a stir. So I can just give it a taste. Wow, the soup is really sweet. But I still need to add in one more tablespoon of oyster sauce. You need to add in, because the noodles and the vegetable don't have taste, right? So we want to add more taste onto the soup. So three tablespoons of oyster sauce. 
and half teaspoon of salt. Okay. Now the soup should be really delicious. All the noodles is about the soup. If the soup is nice, noodles is delicious. Okay, I'm going to give it a taste again. This time it's really delicious. Most of all these ingredients, right, when we cook already, we don't want it. If you want to keep, you can keep, but I just got to drain out all this to a smaller pot. Basically, the vegetable and the chicken will have no more taste already because it's all extracted into the soup. Alright, our delicious soup is ready. Now we can go and prepare the other ingredients. While I'm preparing the other ingredients, I'm going to keep warm the soup. Just keep in the low heat so that when we put it in the noodles, it's going to be very nice. Alright, these are the complete set for the chicken noodle soup. So I have shredded chicken, which is the chicken breast meat that I took out. I have um, shredded, cut parsley and spring onion, kangkong, bean sprout. For the noodle today, I'll be using kway teow or ho fan. You can use any other noodle of your choice. So I also have uh, crispy fried garlic, garlic oil, and this is spicy chili blajan oil. You can look out on how to make this spicy chili blajan oil for my other video. I will share the links down below this video as well. All these are the ingredients is ready. Now we're going to cook the noodles, the bean sprout and also the kangkong. Alright, I have hot boiling water here. And this is one portion. I'm going to cook the noodle first. Just like that is okay already because later on we're going to put in the hot soup anyway. And I'm going to put it in the serving bowl first. So I'm going to cook the bean sprout and the kangkong together. These two vegetables also they didn't require to cook so long. Because I just want it to be just crunchy. No need to cook so long. All right, that's all. Very fast. All right, we will cook one bowl first. We have our noodles and the vegetable cooked ready. So now we are going to put in the chicken. Chicken, you can put as much as you want. And some parsley and spring onions. Crispy fried garlic. Put a bit more. Nice fragrant garlic oil. Mm. All right, now we can go and put in the soup. All right, so we now we're going to pour the soup. Oh, so good. Now, if you want to put in the chili oil, you can do so. So, I'm going to just put one drop of chili oil here. Oh, yes. Some more of this. Just a little garlic. That's ready. Chicken noodle soup. Going to try just the soup first. Wow, so good, so tasty. For this chili, is optional. This is really spicy, but if you want to eat it like plain, non spicy, then you can just no need to put it. So, to eat this type of noodle, we need to mix it like this. Mix it all. Wow. Mm. So 
so good. This is really out of the world. Very tasty. The noodle is smooth. The soup is delicious and the chicken is tender. It's all blends so well together. When you add in the spicy chili oil and blajan, it's really out of the world. I give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please share with your friends and remember to subscribe for more of my variety cooking like this. Thank you and bye-bye.